okay so today i want to introduce about the modified agriculture that i usually term that sustainable agriculture or what is called the, the conservation agriculture so if you think about the 20 years back this this entire areas usually flooded more than six months and that time the the farmers the landowners they cannot do anything even they cannot grow the rice because in 20 years back there is only they grow rice in two times in a year but uh, slowly slowly more than six months they used to flood it so they cannot do anything so uh, with time the people they tried to modify their ideas actually they have learned their own ideas eh? so they have modified the entire agriculture so inside the pond this looks like a pond or the fish cultivation place they usually grow fish and surrounding areas both sides eh? you see this is the one owner this is another owner and they are growing different types of vegetables this is okra uh, bitter gold the, sorry this is bitter gold not okra okra is in another place this is bitter gold or in another court is the feria this is cucumber this is papaya this is banana plant also here and they are also growing watermelon eh? in between this is the watermelon plant and this is entirely the uh, cucumber cucumber all this the cucumber you can see this is the cucumber this is a local cucumber eh? the people they usually like the local local vegetables so that this is the brinjal and they are also growing whatever they need daily needs daily food demands vegetables chilies spices whatever they need so they are growing here so this is they are growing the fish inside and over the wand they are growing all types of vegetables so every side is on every side they have modified the type of agricultural practices and they are growing everything everything they can grow now so one by one eh? so you can see this is very amazing uh, so uh, why we call this what is called the conservation agriculture or sustainable agriculture because because they can fulfill their own demand the daily food demand and the excess they sold out they actually sell to the market so that means they are also doing the making the sources of income as well not only fulfilling the demand they are also selling and you can see this is the watermelon normally watermelon is just to grow on the plain land but they have modified their practices so you can see this is watermelon here already over the trellis so this is all our watermelon but still they have the uh, what is called the the, the knowledge gap because cucurbitaceous is all our cucurbits so cucurbitaceous they need uh, pollination support if there is no huge number of honeybees then they used to a uh, fertilization gap due to the lack of pollination so this is amazing actually i when i see that very people even they are very they are ignorant even they don't know how to do agriculture but they are doing but now those who we are like us we are educated person now we are learning from them uh, who we learn we are learning see this is watermelon so actually truly amazing practices they are doing now so this is in my village my uh my, my place of birth is on part of uh, the country's Bangladesh and uh, you know the amazing there, there, there are other types of agriculture practices they are also doing floating bed agriculture so when the peoples they see that the most of the time of the year they're flooded so they are ma making floating beds over there they are also growing vegetables and so this is all our watermelon so I'm going to another field so I want to show, show you the snake gold uh, very nicely formed the fruit the hues you can see this is the many snake gold here if if i can show you all the fruits are hanging below the trellis all these are snake gold okay and this is you see i want to show you another field here is the bottle gourd huge number of bottle gourds is here and over that land eh, both side you can see tomato 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 and sometimes they are okra sometimes they are the brinjal and over the trellis 
there mostly are cucurbit types of vegetables so this is also a snake gourd see huge number of flowers this is because it's snake gourd all types of gourd they usually flower the early in the morning so i cannot show you the below huge number of fruits you see this is uh, actually the pollinated by honeybees or other types of insect pest uh, so you can see huge number of fruits is hanging and this is the bottle gourd it's amazingly floating huge number of bottle gourd is here you can see if i can show you all the tomatoes huh? so here you can see many bottle gourds as well they're also planting terrain tree as a support of the uh, the bond huh? sometimes the bond is to broken so they make it support so you can see so all are all are bottle gourd huh? huge number of bottle gourd is hanging over the trellis and below is the fish farm and they mainly grow is the papaya also huge entirely this is they are planting all types of trees all types of trees what they need this is another maybe no one taking care since water lily is here you can see so uh, oh, this is a uh, truly amazing i can't explain how i should explain uh, the this very simple farmers very simple farmers most of them are ignorant but they know how to do the agriculture uh, you see totally totally is the fish farm and over all the over the all sides they are growing vegetables so truly they no need to buy anything from the market except like salt while all this only but vegetables the fruits the watermelon papaya the mangoes there are so many mango trees also they are growing here and this is truly amazing very little care they are just go uh, because this land is a uh, very fertile land but for the proper growth and uh, and the protect from the insect pest they are applying some chemicals as well i have seen but we ca i cannot say they are completely organic uh, but semi organic eh? so this papaya you see this papaya there are so many papaya plants here this is also this is a rice gold eh? if i can show some rice gold this is a indian spinach this very nutritious vegetables this is indian spinach uh okay so if any rice gold here so this some some of the flowers i have seen so this is already fruit set but there is no big fruit yet okay so i hey, see here is ever again watermelon so here in front i have seen on rice gold so i can show you you see they're taking care every day this is 24 hours works so they are working all times they are working all times here i have seen yeah this is on rice gourd huh? this is the rice gourd you can see so rice gourd sweet gourd bottle gourd pumpkin watermelon then uh, the cucumber then whatever else the bitter gourd everything is and everything they are growing here so this is the amazingly changes their lives as well so the the the, the frame the price is very high so in one kilogram depending on the size eh, the the shrimp is usually sold out based on the size of the uh what is called the size of the uh, shrimp sometimes they use a 10 piece one kilogram is the very high, five piece one kilograms so uh, the price is very high and also they are also uh, fee, the, uh, the other water fresh water fish different types of carp fish the so many types is local fishes as well so you can see the overview entire areas all are all are fish cultivation farm including the subsistence or we can sustainable or we can say conservation agriculture so they can spend their 24 hours see so many people is working there taking care of the plants planting harvesting 
and the rearing the fish as well so that's all from me if i can show the something amazing in further i will try to show is uh, actually very hot i am sweating now okay that's all thank you